Jim Kern, how are you doing? Doing fine. Go Great. On. What do you got there? A cocktail? Yeah, I got, right. got mixed nuts. Okay. And a tall beer. I'm all set. Okay. Well, we're ready to hear about your story about how the heck you came up with that idea for a hike across country. Well, um, it emerged from a board meeting of the American Hiking Society. It was the second board meeting. The first signing papers in Chuck Sloan's office. The second was in the Tabard Inn in downtown, uh -huh. uh, in downtown Washington. And at that meeting, we were trying to figure out how to make a splash with the arrival of this new organization, and, uh, a hiking organization that would be focused just on hiking trails in America, uh, looking out for the interests of hikers. That was the mission of, of uh, the American Hiking Society. So how are we going to say that we're here, boys? Uh, we, we're, we're here to do business on behalf of trails. And uh, after kicking around some ideas, eventually we came up with the, with the thought of a, a hike across America. Everybody thought that was a great idea. Um, uh, we then said, well, we need somebody to run it. Who's, who's going to run it? Who's going to organize this hike across America? And at that point, uh, maybe a lot of people have been in a meeting when this happens, but everybody clams up because nobody wants an enormous job that they hadn't contemplated. And that's what happened. So after moments of dead silence and awkwardness, I raised my hand and I said, uh, OK, I'll run the hike. Was that before or after you'd had a couple of drinks? Yeah, probably <laughs> after I had a couple of drinks. OK. Yep. <laughs> So anyway, um, I, I got rolling and Backpacker Magazine helped, helped with this because it started to run announcements about this hike across America. And if you were interested, you should, you should uh, call this phone number or write this address, which was my address. And, mm -hmm. the, and the phone number was an answering machine in my office and let them know you're interested. And you had to send a dollar in and then you got the newsletter. And would you believe that uh, Expensive. after we, after we um, massage this idea and start to organize it, we had a thousand names on our, on our newsletter. Wow. File, on our a newsletter. Thousand. In our newsletter file. Wow. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was great. And one of those letters, anybody that starts a, a new venture, I have some advice for them, and that is be sure you read all your mail. Okay. And you get these uh, handwritten notes about somebody's interested. Well, there was a handwritten note from some guy in Indiana named Monty Montgomery who said he was so much interested. He, he was in the, had a military career. He was now back home. And he was, uh, uh, he was very interested in the hike. And oh, by the way, he had a, a, a bum knee and he wasn't sure he could do the hiking. But he had an Airstream ha trailer and maybe... He, he could be of some help to me. Yeah. And All I right. hadn't even thought the thing through enough to realize that this was an enormously valuable asset, uh, both <laughs> Monty and, and the, the trailer. But in fact, the more I thought about it, the more I realized uh, we were going to have to have something like this. Uh, we were going to have hikers come to want to join the hike along the way. There was going to be mail. There was going to be... Uh, uh, food boxes arriving, clothing mm -hmm. boxes, and so on. So Monty was enthusiastic enough about the idea that he got in his car and he drove down to see me in Miami, Florida, stayed with me for a few days, and we kicked around the idea. Cool. Let's have a toast to Monty right now. Yeah, I'm for Here, that. Uh, let's, <laughs> I'm for that. Okay. Yeah. I got one, too. The Hike Nation glasses. And, you know, he was in many ways the heart of Hike -a Nation, mm -hmm. because even though I was running things in my office, the hikers knew that the man on the scene who was who was going to solve their problem, uh, like a blister or uh, um, some food they didn't have uh, that failed to arrive in the mail, or a letter that had to go out, it was going to be money they were going to lean on. If they had an emotional issue, uh, yeah. somebody died in the family, whatever it was, money I felt was the heart of Hike Nation. And yep. he's passed on, but we remember him fondly. Yep, God rest his soul. He was the boots on the ground and made it all good for all the hikers. So yeah. here's to you, Monty. One more sip. <laughs> <laughs>
I just want to make sure I showcase all the Hike Nation classes. There is the one from the uh, reunion, the 35th reunion, holding some nuts. So you can do all sorts of things with these glasses, and I think Doug still has some available. So we're still uh, marketing those glasses. We'll talk to you later, Jim. All right.